Hey guys, John Adams, Modern Design Aquascaping. Our team builds custom ponds, fountains, and waterfalls out of natural stone and wood. My goal is to educate and inspire the world about ponds and water features. Man, is it chilly out here today. Today's video is about an awesome project we got invited to do with the team over at JVI Secret Gardens in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, it's total demolish and redo on an existing waterfall and koi pond. It was kind of what I call a turd. It was just old and outdated. Time for a refurbish. And uh, man, we kicked its butt. What a challenge. The rocks were huge and they were kind of hidden so that they didn't look nearly as big as they were. The access was super tight. It was a very logistically challenging job, but uh, we nailed it. So I hope you guys enjoy the show. Watch it through. I'm out of here. So here we are kids in uh, lovely Nashville, Tennessee. Check out the awesome lake back behind me. How beautiful is that? Sounds like the homeowner's got a big dog. Get to come up here and meet somebody and check out what kind of an awesome project we get to work on this week. Beautiful place, beautiful home. I'm sure the waterfall project's gonna be kick butt. We've had flooding here recently, so there's beautiful driftwood all over the yard over here. And uh, there's a nice piece of cedar laying over there, whole stump in a tree with moss all over it. I see the potential for some good stuff happening out here. Let's check out what we got happening on the hillside up here. So we got this existing pond here. We're tearing this whole thing out. Yep. Are we staying in between the... <clears throat> between the goalposts. <clears throat> in between the goalposts. But so we're building back within the inside of the big stones. Correct. That looks pretty cool. We're going to be able to get some limestone to do this with? I think... Yeah, the homeowner really likes the existing. We can we can go back in with some of this if it makes sense. Totally. Mix it in. So the big challenge to me is what we got going on over here. Look how tight this madness is. We got a swimming pool here. Um, I can see this getting a whole lot like another job we did with you guys where we <laughs> don't really have enough room mm -hmm. to get in between the pool and the pool deck. That's gonna be our biggest challenge on this site and actually getting stuff out of our way in here pulling it out, getting it moved out of our way where we've got some access to do some work, and then being able to get it back in here and work with it. So the logistics on this project is gonna be the toughest thing we have so, to yeah. work with. So I'm here out here walking around looking at this thing before we tear it out, a lot of it is concreted together. So we got these big slabs of Tennessee limestone over here, and it's all been pushed in with mortar basically they've lined these big stones along the outside edge which i'm not sure if we're even going to be able to move those we may have to work in between them so we'll pluck out what we can we're going to have to rip all this stuff out with the concrete we're going to have a big pile of garbage left when we get done but one of my main concerns is the the concrete we have such a thin pad to drive on right here and we have these these large what we call interaction stones along the edge where you actually walk off the concrete onto a stone, but they've been poured. The concrete's poured along the outside edges of these rocks and they've already started to sink in just a little bit. And now what I see down below that is we're gonna have to pull the rocks out from under these edge stones in order to rebuild this pond and that could cause some issues later. Never know what you're gonna find inside one of these ponds. We're looking at you. <laughs> all right so we found this hole in between the boulders and so this, this was behind under this massive boulder under the underneath of it behind the liner i don't even know how something gets in here i'm kind of scared to stick my hand in here but i see stuff crawling around there's one there's two. Oh, he peed on me nice you just got my gloves all wet so what you get <laughs> This makes like 40 frogs from this pond.
So check this out, the stuff we get into that you don't see coming. Look in the bottom of that hole. Two feet of little small cobblestones this big around and probably eight to 10 years worth of compost, organic matter, and water lily roots, layer after layer after layer. That's what you get into when you're doing a renovation on a project. You have no idea how it's gonna go. So now we're gonna have the complexity of pulling out these stones off the edge, cutting all this, making this look good when we get done because all of the stuff underneath these big stones has been built up on top of those cobblestones. So like all good pond builders would do, they put all the little teeny rocks in the bottom, and then they put these giant rocks on top at water level to make it look good. Problem is we can't take it back apart, it's not safe. So we have to rip all this out. We're gonna make this edge look nice just with the concrete saw, doing some fancy edge work. And then look up here, the rocks are so big and we can't get to them. Travis has been up there. That's Travis up there, he's the man with the plan. And that's his jackhammer. He's been up there with the jackhammer and the concrete saw making the pieces small enough that we can pull all that stuff down. So hopefully within a couple hours of morning, we'll have all this ripped out tomorrow and we'll be working in between those limestones and those limestones over there. We're gonna have just a nice little area right here where we're gonna be able to put in this 16 foot waterfall and get this pond reshaped out. So logistically, nightmare, it's very difficult. You get the rocks out, you put them in five gallon buckets, you have to carry them all the way out around the side of the house and put them in a pile. Later, we're gonna pick them all back up. We're gonna bring them all the way back over here. There's nowhere to put anything, but that's just the way it goes in a tight quarters on a job like this. So a lot of times when we do bracketing on a project and we'll tell somebody a project's gonna be somewhere between 20 and 35,000 and they're like, you're crazy. Where do you come up with these numbers? This is where we come up with these numbers because you get in here and you look at all of these variables on a project and it makes it very difficult to just be able to look at pictures over the phone and say, oh, that's a $27,000 project because there's 40 things that go into bidding out a job. So this is where Travis has been working today. I've been down in the hole plucking rocks and scooping up pond scum down there and man what a mess that was. It looks like we're working on uh, just a big limestone ledge across through here. These rocks have been piled up. I think that we've decided these pillars around us and these steps, there's steps and pillars and these kind of odd uh, railings going up both sides and we think that's like from the original old house and that they built in between these two sets of steps that we've got going on out here it looks then like they came back in and put the water feature in between the old steps before they built the pool so it's kind of a hit and miss thing what we're discovering as we as we break into this down here but man we're just what a pile of limestone crazy plumbing it's amazing to me what people do sometimes but you never know what you're going to get into until you get into it so we'll see what happens on day two but this is our progress for day one so here we are day two on the JVI build. Beautiful day, 40 degrees, sun is shining. And the jackhammer and resume. So we're gonna get Travis on the jackhammer and uh, we got somebody running out to uh, Lowe's to pick us up some topsoil so we can create some kind of soft area for us to build our waterfall back on top of this giant limestone formation. And uh, we're off to the races. So let's see what we can get done today. Hey kids, it's lunchtime on day two. Check out what we got now. Here's where the magic happens. We've had the same situation in the past where we've got this big long tear out to do and a rebuild and we can't actually reach the top. So Travis has been in here all day. That guy up there, he's been in here with the jackhammer just going at it, tearing these giant rocks out. And the goal is to break them into pieces that we can move and we're gonna slide them all right down here in the hole like I've got them down here so that I can now drive our machine out. I'm gonna get right on top of these stones and we're gonna build the top 10, 12 feet of waterfall 
see the wall that we built up there in the top because once we pulled out all this junk we could see that there's a hole up there between the deck and the actual ground level so that's what we had to deal with so we took a lot of the stuff that we broke we built a retaining wall that gets us up to the deck we're going to put our biofalls in at the top and we're going to set the top of our biofalls level with the bottom of that deck board right at our retaining wall and then we're literally going to build our stream in between these two rows of limestone and then backfill soil in between so that it looks natural and it's going to look like it's carved right into the bank the way that it should look so that's why we've cut this big hole back into here instead of having a mound built out over the top which is what we would add had we have built over top of these big slabs so we're going to come back in here this afternoon and we're going to start building waterfall up in the top section get our biofall set and then we're going to do a little backfill and we're going to try to finish that top 10 feet then we're going to come down here empty all this crap out of the pond that we've got down in the bottom now we're going to have to haul all that out then tomorrow we'll be able to work on shaping out all of the pond edges and working on that that first waterfall and we'll actually be able to reach everything that we have left so it's a little bit of a logistical challenge but that's what we've got going on and uh, we'll just keep going at it so you guys follow up So you can see where we're at. Travis just got the bio falls hooked up. Got our plumbing connected in the back. You can see how much carving we did. We pulled all the liner and the old nasty carpet padding out from underneath there. And uh, there was actually some soil, thank God. So this is what we got. Get in here and do a little shaping. You see the waterfall. You start visualizing how the stones are gonna come up in there and then the way that that's all going to tie in together and the top of it's going to be almost flush with those other stones so it should just be a nice natural looking rock outcropping with the waterfall down through the middle so after we get done with that we're going to have to come in here and pull this 20 tons of, of stone out of here and haul it off which was kind of bad news but good news is the neighbor over here has got an erosion problem on the side of the bank he said he would love for us to dump all our rock over there so not everything turns out for the bad we actually have got a good spot to dispose of this so we don't have to spend two days hauling it all out to the road and putting it in a dumpster and getting it all the way so Alright guys, here it is. Finally got the owner laying in there. We've got our liner squeezed in. We're getting ready to set some rocks. So uh, let's watch the way this all goes together and hopefully we'll get this waterfall finished before the end of day two. The beginning of day three, here's where we're at. We just started setting rocks at the end of the day yesterday. It's been slow going, you know all the reasons, man. We got rock in the hole, we're parking our machine on top of it. We're pushing the machine to its limits because we can't get a bigger machine in here. So uh, this is where we're at. I'm not gonna do a lot of talking. We got work to get done. detail work guys you get in here and use this black foam to seal up everywhere and make the water go right where I want it to stuff isn't waterproof it's water resistant but if 95% of the water cooperates we're all good
right guys day four in nashville i'm really starting to get a little stressed out about this we've got a lot of work to do today and i think my body's giving up on me because man am i sore <laughs> getting old's rough man look at the pond still half full of rocks but we got a lot of that cleaned up at the end of the day yesterday i wanted to have that waterfall built completely finished and have all of the stone out of this so that we have the full two days of today and tomorrow to get this pond done thankfully it looks like the weather's going to be great to us the sun's shining again it's going to be 70 degrees and beautiful we're going to rock this puppy out so i'm not going to talk your ear off you see what we've got going on we've got some some beautiful uh waterfalls done up there just a little bit of lighting connections to make we're 99 percent done on the waterfall itself and we're getting ready to build one cool pond because we got some awesome rocks that just rolled in yesterday afternoon and that's going to allow us to knock this pond out in a hurry quick video how that skimmer turned out so I don't have the fake lid on there at the moment but got a nice piece of cedar log thrown in across the top of there pinched between those two boulders turned out real nice this pond is a little deeper than our normal install so we're about two and a half feet on this one which is good because it's got a smaller footprint see the driftwood work the lights are fired up now so you can kind of visualize how the water is going to come from the top. It's going to come right off that flat right there. And then it's going to drop down. That one's going to come down straight. And then it's going to hit this rock, which is on an angle. And it's going to sheet off to the left. It's going to boil up behind that boulder where the light is. And then it's going to spin around here. And it's going to fast drop off multiple stones. And then it's, that white water should spill out and slow down across this rock. Down into this hole and twirl around. There's another light in there. That's going to drift off this way and spill. That's just slightly tilted on that side. There's another light here highlighting all of that. Water should trickle across this. So it's going to get a little wider and slower in this area. Then it's going to come down into here. It's going to pinch in behind this log. Off this side, all of it's going to channel right back in together again and come through this nice little narrows and set of rapids right into the pond where I'm standing. So we got some cool driftwood worked into the edges here. Nice plant pockets. All of that turned out really well, so super excited. Can't wait to see this thing run. All right, so day five, my back's broken down. You see my boy Travis up there behind me. And uh, Preston was out here with us today from JVI Secret Garden. This is as far as I'm going to make it. It's going to be another one of those jobs where I uh, get done with the project and don't get to see it run. Very disappointing, but you know what? That's just the way it goes when you're... A traveling uh, circus act like me so I get out here and I got it to the 
percent point with these guys and their team's going to take it and drive it across the finish line. So Travis promised to send me some some uh, B-roll. So I've got something for the YouTube video and I can't wait to see this thing when it's all cleaned up and running with the fish in it. I'm sure it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Do me a favor, if you liked what you saw, if it inspired you, educated you, made you smile, laugh, whatever, give her a thumbs up, let us know. Ding the bell over there, subscribe to our channel. It will automatically notify you whenever we put out awesome new content about amazing pond and waterfall projects that we get to be a part of around the world. And uh, I just hope you guys have an amazing day. Comment down in the comment section. Let us know what you wanna know. I'll try to tell you about it. I hope you guys have a great one later.